Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly bit of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and post questions for discussion. Please check back on those days at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I thought we could take a look at Southwark Fair by William Hogarth. Hogarth was trained as an engraver. His first paintings were small-scale informal group portraits of families and friends commonly referred to as conversation pieces. He became extremely popular and equally well-off with his later works, Paintings Telling a Story, released as prints to subscribers. With a keen eye for human weaknesses and a businessman's sense of what might sell, his paintings became humorous critiques of those weaknesses. Southwark Fair is such a painting. Southwark Fair was an annual event for over 300 years. However, it became so raucous, it was stopped in 1762. Hogarth showcases what he and others considered some of the more egregious and morally reprehensible behaviors common at the fair, with the optimistic hope of people recognizing the error of their ways. I suspect voyeurism, not shame, led to the commercial success of prints of this work. The museum was lucky enough to also have a print. And we are lucky today to be able to zoom in on the action which this painting is chock full of. Let's look at some. There are strolling musicians, a pickpocket, gamblers, a gentleman with questionable intentions wooing two young country girls. A dog dressed up in human clothing might be more of a metaphor for people acting like animals than an actual attraction. An advertisement for the theater production, The Fall of Bajat, references a tragic play in which the main character is undone by deceit and disloyalty. It had been rewritten by a popular playwright and performed in London around this time, but the stage crumbling into a china shop was a clever visual for anyone less familiar with the play's reference. I wanted to showcase these charming scenes today in an effort to tempt you to visit the larger work in Gallery 210, where it's displayed alongside paintings of other entertainments of their time. I'm hoping that the curators will soon treat us to a, a viewing of the print also, hint, hint.